Hi there everyone, this is Ski Okenfall here and uh, today I've got my Roland SH101 out. And um, what I wanted to do is go about uh, demonstrating how I've recreated an effect that I use with the SH101 uh, on Ableton Live. And um, it's an effect that I use, I call it, I've called it a heavy hitter because it's something I do if I'm kind of working on a remix and it's coming to the end and I want to get some dynamics going. It's a, it acts a bit like a crash cymbal where I maybe use it at the start of every 8 or 16 bars and um, it kind of really emphasizes the next section coming in or kind of create some rhythmic intensity and uh, basically the effect is using modulation filter modulation which you can hear here and I can control the uh, LFO rate make it fast or slow I can also bring in some noise And it works particularly well, especially if you've got a bit of delay, ping pong delay or reverb. Um, it can create some really nice kind of washy effects and uh, can be very versatile. So uh, that's the SH-101. I now want to move over to Ableton Live and I'm going to use um, the instrument called Analog. And I'm just going to quickly run through how I've gone about building that up. So. Um, <coughs> I've got an instance of analog here. Um, you can see some other things going on, but none of those are activated at the moment. So we're going to start off, we've just got a saw wave here, running through the amplifier. And um, I've got a bit of a release on here. I think having it just like that is cool for the moment. So I'm now going to add some filtering to this. And uh, just going to take the modulation off the SH101 and the, and the noises. You can hear it's quite a kind of similar sound. So we're now going to um, move over to the LFO. And there's a little section here called frequency modulation. And um, where it says LFO1, this is a control that we can control, um, we can assign the LFO to affect the filtering. So if I turn on the LFO one here, you can, you can hear something's going on. What I'm going to do, I'm going to change this waveform to a sine and then click back over to the filter here. You can see it's affecting the filtering, which is very nice. Um, now we can either have the uh, LFO rate just set to uh, Hertz or we can also set it to be in sync with the actual tempo of the track. So just for the moment I'm going to keep it as Hertz. And you see we can make it faster or slower just like the SH101 here. Which is very handy. And we can also control the frequency to determine how much we've got. So, uh, like the SH101, there's also a uh, noise oscillator. So we could bring we could bring that in. So essentially, we've got pretty much the same kind of vibe as as the SH. There's the SH-101, which is very nice. I can hear on this on this SH-101 there's a bit more of a release, so so maybe we can add that. Let's, uh, so, there you go. Pretty simple. We've just got one oscillator with um, a saw wave here, and it's going through a filter um, and an envelope, and the LFO is controlling the filtering. Um, so, and we've also got this noise here which we can bring in or out, uh, which is very nice. Um, so, and then just adding a few effects to that, let's try the ping pong delay. You can see that adds a really nice effect and then to top that off we can have a reverb as well. So I'm going to keep those off again for a moment. And one thing I just wanted to go back to was looking at the LFO rate. Um, I'm going to 
click this little note, musical note, which uh, turns it um, to be in sync, on to be in sync with the tempo of the track. So if I play a beat here, you can see it's kind of, this is a, this is like a one eighth dotted. So let's try 16th. You can see I've also set the retrig um, on, which means that it will always s start at the same point in the waveform of the LFO. Um, so it just gives a bit of gives us a bit of consistency there. And uh, just going back to what we originally had, we could also try some different LFO waveforms. We've got a triangle there, We've got a rectangle. We can even have some noise. So that's very nice. Um, so what I've done, and uh, this is, as they say, something I prepared earlier. Um, what I've done is I've I've grouped those. Um, I've grouped this analog uh, and these effects, the ping pong and the reverb, into a rack, and uh, which has allowed me to add some macro controls. So just going to those here, what I've got. Oh, so I've got a chord on there as well. I'm just going to take it off. We can control the sync rate here, the LFO amount, the LFO shape, so we can change that back to a uh, sine wave. There we go. I can also bring in some different amounts of noise. I can affect the frequency, cutoff. The, the resonance and I can also affect how much delay we have and how much reverb so so let me just play that again with a beat so a very handy feature and I've also um, just added this uh, chord function here um, which has given me some different notes and again we can have some different uh, effects. And of course all of this is, is in sync with the tempo. So uh, I will make this rack available um, for downloads. Please check the YouTube page um, for that, and I'll give you. I'll provide a link. Um, so I hope that's been useful, and uh, that concludes my demonstration. See you very soon. Bye.